Kyle Ramos here, strongmangoodmen.com. Uh, today we're going to talk about being a leader. So not everybody is born born a leader, so to speak. But you, if you want to have a successful life, you need to be a leader. Excuse me, on some level, you have to be able to lead your family. You have to be able to lead yourself, right? But you should want to be have some leadership skills, right? So not everybody's a born born leader, um, and so you have to develop those skills. Now, one of the best ways uh, to do this is you have to be comfortable public speaking. Um, because if you're going to be a leader, you're going to talk in front of people. You have to get out of that. That's a, the number one fear people have is, is public speaking. Uh, more people have a fear of public speaking than anything else. So you have to get over that fear if you have that fear. And just practicing, forcing yourself to do it is, is one really good way to to break that. Um, I took a public speaking class in college, one of the best classes I took, to be honest with you. Um, then you have to take accountability and responsibility. So you have to be accountable for yourself and for the people around you. And you have to take responsibility when you do things incorrectly. Um, a, a good leader is not a finger pointer. Um, a good leader says, okay, we messed up, that's, that's on me, you know. Um, it's one of those things, you know, to bring it back to your family. Um, if your child does something improperly, then you have to say, okay, I'm sorry, ma'am. Yeah, Johnny threw a rock and it hit your, broke your window. Um, um, you're, the de you're the parent, right? So taking responsibility and being accountable for your actions and for the actions of the people who fall under your leadership in, in whatever uh, way that may be. Um, and have conviction. You know, Whatever it is that you believe, you have to have some conviction about you. If you don't have conviction, then the people that you're trying to lead are not gonna buy in. They're not gonna follow you. Um, and it's just not gonna work out. So there's a really good book on leadership that I, I, I recommend. I've read it multiple times. I recommend people read it. It's by uh, Jocko Willink and Leif Babin. Uh, it's called, oh man, what is it? The name of the book is, is um, Extreme Ownership. Extreme Ownership. And it talks about that taking responsibility and owning everything. <clears throat> and uh, that's a really good book that will give you um, like a baseline, let's say, for leadership. So you have to be able to talk in public, and that could be just as small groups. Um, you know, if you're like a shift manager somewhere or, you know, whatever, and you have, you know, a group of 10 people, you have to be able to talk in front of them. Uh, you have to be comfortable doing that, or you're just not going to be successful. And, you have to, and taking responsibility and then having conviction. If you can do those three things, it's not to say you're going to be a good leader, but it's going to help you. And then just keep working at it. Uh, you know, read that book, Extreme Ownership, phenomenal book. Those little things will help you. But to some extent, you're going to have to be a leader in life. Um, and so you don't want to be a good one. And uh, there's just no other two ways about it. So thank you guys for listening. Again, it's strongmangoodmen.com. You can get on the the men's group we have there. You can have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. So go check it out. And thank you for watching this video.